Hi, I'm Justin Poe, Global Brand Manager for G. Loomis, and we're out here on the lake today uh, with the guys from Tackle Warehouse. We're fishing the brand new uh, 2012 GLX rods. We brought every rod, uh, so we have 41 brand new GLX rods uh, available now. We make a bunch of different things within GLX, we always have, uh, but building brand new GLX was, was quite a task. You know, when you have a rod that is so synonymous with quality and craftsmanship and has been in the market for so long and has such a long tenure of success in, in fishing uh, in general, uh, it, it's a big responsibility in building that rod. You know, you, you cannot uh, discontinue an entire line of rods that was built 15 years ago and build anything worse uh, and build something that's, that doesn't, you know, measure up to the expectations of the, of the customer and the anglers in the world. So that, that was our task, and, and uh, albeit daunting, you know, we've been tabulating and keeping notes and what would we change, what could we change, so it's not like we've been sitting idle and, you know, sitting on our hands forever. You know, we've been thinking about what we would change if we could, when we could, and we were able to put all of that into this year's GLX. Within the GLX line, like I said earlier, there's 41 different models. Within those 41 models, we have uh, the most popular category is the JWR, which is jig and worm rods. Within the jig and worm rod series, um, most people's applications uh, will be covered for the bulk of their bass fishing. Uh, when you say jig and worm, I, you know, I don't want to be overly literal, but really what we're really referring to is the action of the rod. Uh, jig and worm rod is a fast action, or even in some cases, an extra fast action rod. You're not only fishing jigs and worms on that, uh, those type applications. You're fishing, you know, uh, chatterbaits, you're fishing uh, swim jigs, you're fishing uh, jigs, you're fishing worms, you're fishing possibly senkos, you're fishing uh, a bunch of different things on those rods. So within the jig and worm series in casting and spinning, we have you completely covered for anything you could possibly want to do from six pound line all the way up to 30 pound line uh, within those JWR uh, jig and worm rods in GLX. Some of the things we've done this year, and we've done it with every GLX rod, is we've built brand new handles. And this is the brand new casting uh, reel seat. Very ergonomic, very comfortable. You won't be able to see it from this video, but if you could imagine it, it's got soft touch paint, so it's kind of rubberized. When it's cold, it's warm. When it's hot, it's kind of cool, it's you know below ambient, so it's kind of a very neutral material. That said, it's also, it's not slick, it's not slippery, um, it, it's rubberized, so it kind of, it sticks to your hand without being sticky, if, if you guys can uh, grasp that. Um, from here, we've gone into uh, what we call an hourglass rear grip. The key to this hourglass rear grip, if you guys got mitts like me, you know, the chubby part of my hand here, lays right into the thin part of the grip there and your fingers can be closer together and have a better grip on the rod left-handed or right-handed depending on how you hold it depending on who you are um, it's all the same on the butt section or uh, the back of the rod on all the different rods you'll notice that the crankbait rods the foot punch rods and the jig worm rods have different uh, butts on them the key to that is how do you use it? You know, well, a lot of rod makers, they, they build a rod and they glue the same butt to it. You know, I, I'm not saying bad things about that, but that, that, that could be good for some applications if you built the best, the best, you know, butt section. But something is, as seemingly not a big detail as something like this is a huge detail for us. This uh, fighting butt actually balances this rod correctly. You can see how it tapers. This is composite cork, regular cork, composite cork. We have more of the weight in the back to balance a seven foot five heavy extra fast jig and worm rod. That's something that's necessary. Um, the rod balances perfectly uh, right in front of the reel uh, as it should. And um, that was one of the big keys to us. Really the, the overall part of this jig and worm series is, is that everything that you could possibly need in a jig and worm rod or extra fast to fast action rod is built within this series. There you go. 
swim yeah. jig. That's another one on the swim jig. Good little fish came out of that brush pile. I was ticking right across the top of that brush pile there next to the sticks that are out of the water. He came up and hammered it. Nice little, little fish, one. little chunker. He wanted it. He wanted it in a bad way. That's a dirty jig swim jig. With the Reaction Innovations uh, trailer. On the 855 GLX JWR, which I think is for, you know, for seven foot one inch uh, length, there's, there's longer rods in the series if you like a longer rod for fishing the swim jig. But for me, because it's uh, compact and easy, you know, kind of hand in hand to go, it's, uh, it, it's, it's easier to use. So for this situation, it's, it's perfect. Now that rod was the 855 GLX with uh, Cronarch 200E7. 7 to one's perfect for the swim jig because you need to take up a lot of slack quick. You don't really work the swim jig that fast, but it's good to take up a lot of slack because when they hit it, they knock a lot of slack into it sometimes. Uh, the line is 15 pound fluorocarbon. And uh, the jigs, the rods, the reels, the line, everything's available at Tackle Warehouse. Within this series of rods, is uh, 12 brand new crankbait rods. And these crankbait rods are, are something that was very difficult for us to build in terms of actions. Um, you know, we can build any rod to do almost anything we want it to do.